And Nicole touched on it, the effect on traffic. Ralph Rayburn is in Sky Force with a look for it. Ralph? Yeah, as we watch the uh, bomb squad uh, start to unload their uh, one of their robots uh, to come down and take a look at what's going on here, we're going to go ahead and throw a map up here just to show you the area here. Again, we mentioned earlier, this is uh, Northwest 56th Avenue, the area that goes right in front of the fire station. You see it right there. And then uh, just a little bit to, to the south there, that intersection is Northwest 19th Street. And what they're going to do there, they've got that road closed right there. And then the same uh, issue uh, works its way just to the north of that command post we started on over here. So the road is closed there for about a block and a half, two blocks, and you have to divert around and go to Northwest 55th Avenue on the, uh, what would be the east side, or if you went to Northwest 60th Court on the west side, you could uh, circumnavigate this area. There's also a school right here. It's a Royal Palm elementary school and uh, there were about 97 students and uh, faculty that were here at the time so they're sheltering in place they're not going to let anybody leave until they've uh, wound down this investigation that's our story here in sky force hd i'm ralph Raven reporting live all right a news alert off the top here at 6 30 uh, shots fired near a school in hollywood this coming from police good evening everyone i'm lynn martinez and i'm jeff lennox ralph rayburn above that scene right now gathering new information for us ralph yeah, you're looking at a, a scene that is just east of the fence line for where they drop students off here and pick students up at Apollo Middle School. That address is 6800 Arthur Street. You see uh, they've set up a crime scene area here. There's a vehicle there. There are uh, indications that there were shots fired near that vehicle. What we have uh, uh, developed, information we've developed so far, is that there was a uh, some kind of a domestic dispute that occurred uh, in the area of where this vehicle is, right here, and uh, a male possibly bit a female in the face and then took off running and then came back a little while later with a weapon weapon fired several shots the woman was treated here on the scene he fled to another area and we're going to show you that area as we bring the camera back out here it's a it's about a mile and a half away from it, probably two miles away and it is in restricted airspace right now because broward sheriff's office is conducting a swat operation over there we're going to show you we've got two markers that are going to show you as we zoom in right there and you're going to probably see some flashing lights in that uh, neighborhood right there. Well, about five minutes or so ago, they took a subject into custody, somebody into custody in the backyard of a uh, home at 7800 Panama Street. That's the street that you're looking at right there. A person was in the backyard, uh, unknown their injuries, but they're in the back of a fire rescue truck on the way to the hospital to get treated for their wounds. So we've got a very fluid situation here. We didn't want to give up the uh, police officers' locations here because of the SWAT operation. But again, uh, we had a person that was uh, allegedly bitten on the face, then shot. Uh, near Apollo Middle School. Uh, the subject then fled the area to 7800 Panama Street where the police uh, believe they now have that subject in police custody on his way to the hospital. As we get more information, of course, we'll get it back to you. That's our story here in Sky Force HD. I'm Ralph Rape reporting live. All right, uh, FYI, I don't know if you can see it or not, hang on. Uh, I'll give you the distance from uh, the end of the runway, how far it traveled, hang on. There you go. Uh oh, now you got bugs. area hospitals is as we bring the camera out here we're just going to show you we're going to count a one two three four five six vehicles all headed northbound on Biscayne Boulevard one of the cars was uh, trying to turn into uh, a shopping center here apparently cut in front of the lead vehicle that's when the uh, collision occurred and there was uh, pretty much a lot of carnage there we're going to drop that video right there we're going to have, go to video Broward, uh, I plotted the path of the guy that ran from the police. Here. I said I plotted the course that the one sub suspect had fled from the police in the park where he went.
about a mile to the northwest. Okay, got a news alert here at 4 o'clock. A plane off the runway in Pembroke Pines. Let's go to Ralph Raber and high above everything. Ralph? Yeah, you're looking at the aircraft here. It is off the end of the runway. That's runway uh, 10 right. We're going to bring the camera back out and show you uh, part of the airport here. There you see the runway. Uh, the plane was coming in from Opalaka Airport. That's about five and a half miles to the uh, south southwest of where we are. When they experienced some uh, difficulty, and the difficulty uh, has not been specified at this time, but there was a, an instructor and a student pilot on board. They were able to bring the aircraft down uh, and, and land it on the runway. It looks like it ran off the runway, and it ran off quite a distance here. I think we can actually give you a figure here of how far uh, that, that, issue, uh, that that occurred here. We've got to uh, draw that right in there. It says 341 feet roughly the distance it traveled in the grass. A crew arrived out here, fire crews were out here also. Uh, there were no injuries reported here and they're now trying to tow it out of the grass here and back onto the runway and get it out of the way. Uh, they've had some trouble with it getting stuck in the in the uh, sand and grass that's out there. So they're bringing out plywood now to put it underneath the wheels. Again, no injuries. It's a Piper Seneca. It's out of Opalaka. The pilot and the instructor are both okay. That's our story here in Skyforce HD. I'm Ralph Raven reporting live.